So are you not there, my people? Welcome back. This is your boy, Adam Slink. I hope you're not there. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are doing fine. Please, to fellow Nigerians, eh, be patriotic. No, be every time you're not going to bash on our country. Any little opportunity, you're not going to bash on our country. Even if another country offend us, you're not going to see come back bashing your own country. Please, be patriotic at times. For this whole Libya matter, Nigerians are the one bashing Nigeria. Libya know they bash Libya, but we now we they bash Nigeria, which is wrong. It's wrong. No play cruise with that kind of matter. Meanwhile, the super egos want to leave Libya, but they are making it difficult. And Libya has already issued a formal statement concerning the whole issues. Hmm? According to uh, Super Ego Captain Econ, he said, Can I shock you? The pilot had just told us there has been fuel at this, at, this, at this airport for the plane all this time. They could have released it, but they haven't give, given us permission since. Can you imagine? So how long are they planning to hold us hostage here? Still just waiting. After our first tweet, magically, a team bus arrived and a driver who has been standing inside the airport filming us and laughing with some of the other staff since last night said the bus was ready 12 hours after we landed. Now, we have been waiting for four since morning. At this point, I'm even tired of laughing instead of crying. Power of social media. Apparently, our plane is being fired as we speak. And we should be leaving to Nigeria shortly. Thanks for everyone's support. We would never treat a guest nation for a game in this way. Mistakes happen. Delay happens but never on purpose. That is coming from the man, from a uh, super ego captain. If you see the boss may they give Nigeria super egos, check the boss they gave to us, this uh, 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 Molue boss. But see the boss we gave to them with full Libya and well painted. You see the boss we gave to them. See the boss we gave to them. But see the boss they give to us. Hmm? See the boss they give to us. When Nigeria Super Eagles say they are not playing again, NFF say they are not playing again, they want to go back. But they don't want Nigeria to leave. Another person said, Libya is not granting a fly permit or selling aviation fuel to Nigeria chartered aircraft value jet to fly out of libya players club are already sending private jet but can only land at tripoli or benz hazi and not hal habrat 1 pm in libya and players officials are still stranded they don't want to grant permission this is a deliberate attempt the whole country the whole country, whole country just focus on Nigeria matter. Can you imagine that kind of thing? The whole country came together to plan Nigeria matter. And now some Nigerians go be here and see be insulting their fellow Nigerians over this particular matter. They're just you know. They're just you know. Eh? See blaming Nigerians over this matter. They're just, you know. Eh? Ah, ah wow. Uh, Victor Bonifer said, This is getting scary now. You guys can have the point. We just want to return to our country. They say you know, feel carry the theory point, me on a one, but they know they play again. They won't go their country. You know, why may they go play match for feed? Maybe like say, if Super Eagles call the win, they will enter feed, call attack Super Eagles. 
Clay Yami be like say what how many millions of US dollars. The club paid so much money, you call the risk in life for like that kind of thing. No, no play again. According to uh, uh, a statement from the Libya Football Federation, they said, we are deeply concerned about the recent reports surrounding the diversion of Nigeria national team flight ahead of the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier in Libya. While we regret inconvenience cost, it is essential to know that such incident can occur due to routine air traffic control protocols, security check or logistics, uh, logistical challenge that affects international air travel. There, these are standard procedure at airport worldwide and delay on rerouting. Though, unfortunately, are not uncommon, we have the utmost respect for our Nigeria counterpart and want to reassure them that the diversion of their flight was not intentional. There are no ground to accuse the Libya security team or the Libya Football Federation of deliberately orchestrating this incident. Such actions are inconsistent, inconsistent with our value and principle. We firmly reject any claim that suggests foul play or sabotage in this situation. It is important to highlight that just last week, our own national team faced significant challenges upon our arrival in Nigeria for the third match of the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier. Despite the difficulties we encounter, we did not make public accusation nor question the integrity of Nigerian authorities. Football, it is essential, unite nation, and we are committed to upholding the spirit of fairness and mutual respect both on and off the field. In Libya, we pride ourselves on our hospitality and our welcoming nature. We have always uh, prioritized treating all visitors, visited team, including our Africa brothers and other international delegations, with the respect and dignity they deserve. Hosting this event is a great honor for us, and we strive to ensure that all team feel safe are respected as our guest. This commitment to equality and hospitality in a core aspect of our culture and tradition. We hope that this misunderstanding can be resolved with understanding and goodwill. Our doors are open to all to our Nigeria brothers and all Africa team, and we continue to promote the spirit of unity, sportsmanship, and friendship. In the world of football. So you guys are expecting Libya because of Super Ego to burn down their institution. To tell you, say, yes, we did it purposely. It's left for you if you like bash your whole country for this particular matter. You look yourself in the mirror and call yourself a fool. A fool. It's a deliberate attempt. We do not expect them to come outside to say yes. We deliberately yeah, did all those things people are accusing, uh, accusing us of. They're not going to talk now. They're going to only tell you, say, ah, this is a mistake, oh. Mistake from their own side, mistake from our own side, ah, all those things and all those things. So, a mistake, oh. Mistake, oh. We treated those people well. We treated them well. Gave them all the hospitality. Look at, uh, there is a video proof. Before anybody will come talk, people are very dark man, which I respect very well though. But he no talk well for that matter. He no talk well for that matter at all. He no talk well for that matter at all. But be patriotic. No, they just they call your country, insult your country. Be patriotic. Eh? Be patriotic. So, as at now, as at the time I'm making this video, they say the Nigeria, uh, 
the Nigeria team are coming back to Nigeria now as we speak. So they are no longer playing the match again. They have boy scouted the match. They are coming back to Nigeria as we speak. Yes, may they come back. They feel carry the the team. The they feel carry the point. They can carry the point. Let them come back. Now other Nigerians may they bash their fellow country. Now I know they understand. They bash their super egos. <laughs>